Um, so I'm Reese. I play bass in Iscarian. And I'm Johnny. I play guitar and vocals in Iscarian. Um, new album just came out yesterday, October 31st, and we're very excited to get this out into the world. It's been three years in the making. Very keen for everyone to have a listen to it and exciting times. Beautiful, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. So, as you say, Iscarian released his sophomore album towards a futile existence only yesterday. Like, I know it hasn't been too long, but how's the uh, early reception been for it? Been really awesome. We've gotten two really good reviews so far. And yeah, everyone who's came and listened to it has loved it. We had um an album launch party last night. We actually hosted it where we usually rehearsed. We got a few friends to come down, have a listen. We had some drinks and it was great. Very good. So can you tell us a bit more about the album from a musical point of view and what you're going for with it? Um, well, so with this album, obviously, coming off Pillars of the Faith, our first album, um, having a concept of The Seven Deadly Sins and a much more subjective uh, approach to it. With this album, we've gone for the concept again, but this time in a more broader sense, we're sort of talking about society as a whole we're talking about the objective view now we're looking outwards and towards the future and the bleakness of that really it's a very dark album but nonetheless it's an awesome album yeah no i was just going to say that i think it's a very unique album um it's very it's very different to the first album it still has the heaviness but we also have the ethereal sort of like cleans and atmosphere now as well mixed in um, this album we also recorded with seven string guitars, like we used seven string guitars when the first album was traditional six. So there was a bit of a shift in the songwriting process like that. And a lot of the songs were written over COVID, so lockdowns, 2020 and 2021. So that should give you an indication of like Where the style from. that we're writing in, just like the, the bleakness of society eating itself during lockdown. Is that why it took three years to do? Because you started writing then and you were sort of just... Were you balancing it out or what's it why take so long? Uh just a lot of thought process behind it. Also, we had a lineup change. We got um Gaia who plays keys and sings. Um, we we're looking for a, a clean singer and a keyboardist for a while. And we'll just put out the feelers that we put the feelers out. We didn't know whether it was gonna be something that we seriously considered. But yeah, now it's we auditioned Gaia and she was the one and done. Like First person we auditioned and we were like, she fits us so well. So yeah, we just went with that. And then it was just a, a molding process of, well, we couldn't record or practice to, uh, 2020 and 2021. So it took to about 2022 to actually like fully start practicing and learning the album yeah. and writing. Sure. So you mentioned that you've added progressive and symphonic elements to, to the sound. So why decide to go down that path? Um. Well, we, I feel like for us, you know, because we, you know, you know, as musicians, like we all are on the same sort of page as each other. We want to keep moving, um, you know, with the first album being, you know, very much death driven sort of music, um, you know, hard hitting riffs and complicated sort of song structures. It's sort, it, I guess it's sort of the same with this album with complicated song structures, but we wanted more. We wanted to add a bit more spice to our sound as a scary. We wanted to change for the better, you know, get get a lot more, um, you know, flexing those musical muscles out there, basically, with, you know, the bigger lineup, obviously, and, you know, having the challenge of writing these songs as, as Johnny has written for us and, and Lewis as well. So it's, it's I reckon it, it's been a good step for us, like going in this direction. As Reese just said, it's just an evolution of sound. Um, we had what we had with the first album and very proud of it. I thought it was awesome. I think it is awesome. But yeah, just we all change as humans. And as we evolve as humans, we also evolve as songwriters, as musicians. And it just made sense for us to go in that direction. And you mentioned introducing the clean vocals too. Like, how did you go with that? Like, was it a trial and error to sort of see how things fit and see what worked best for the band? Or did it happen seamlessly? It kind of acted happened seamlessly as i was writing a lot of the songs just on guitar throughout covid i wrote a, i found myself writing a lot more clean parts and then i was thinking a lot of them were extended and i was thinking either we're gonna keep it extended and get a singer 
or we're going to make him a lot shorter and just have like a melody on a guitar or another instrument. And we were tossing and turning between a couple of different options. And then we thought, as I said, we just put out the, the feelers, see if anyone actually wanted to join or if there was actually a possibility of anyone merging with us. And Gaia, she came in first audition and she was in the band. And the cover artwork's awesome too, guys. Like it features shadowy figures in a dark landscape walking up a hill towards a large sort of foreboding looking tree. Like what's going on there? It looks great, but what, what story is it telling? It's like oh, well. the story of the album. Yeah. yeah. It's towards it's just what we wanted to represent it towards a feudal existence. Um, so all these souls moving towards a final destination and it's bleak. So like a bleak destination, but also Gaia really wanted us to have like a little bit of glimmer of hope. That's why the tree is kind of outlined by a bit of a light. Okay, so yeah. it's like moving towards a very bleak destination, but there is a, like a slimmer of hope for humanity. And that's what it sort of represents. Even though like a majority of the album uh, lyric wise is very bleak and very dark, but even there's that small glimmer of hope in the album cover just for, just for our audience sake. It's just a little bit there. Just a touch. <laughs> just a touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a touch. <laughs> and at the same time as dropped the album, you also dropped the single Zeitgeist. So just say that's all anyone's heard of Ascarian. Would you say that's a good sonic representation of the album? Oh, hells yeah. Absolutely it is. I mean, um, you know, I, I we definitely wanted Zeitgeist to be sort of a standout song uh, as, well, as well as the rest of them. Um, but with Zeitgeist, you know, it, it features what should be the standard of the scary now, which is basically, you know, uh, bleak lyrics, lots of heavy riffs, and, you know, we have both the, the the equal standing of, you know, Johnny's vocals and Guy's vocals. And in, if you listen to the chorus, um, you get a nice moulding of, you know, Johnny and Guy together, and it sounds so great. I, I did the lyric video for Zeitgeist, and I just couldn't stop, like, listening to the chorus even though i had listened to it over and over again and i rehearsed it over and over again i just couldn't stop listening to it it was absolutely divine i loved it i loved it um and yeah i think you know even zeitgeist is sort of a representation for what we should be writing in the future you know more marriage of these vocals going forward it's it's really exciting actually even though like um when i was doing the lyric video i was just like because there's a bridge bit in the song and Johnny's um, during the bridge, he's sing he's singing a lot of lyrics. And I'm just like, why did you write so many lyrics? <laughs> so it's like I was getting really angry for no reason because they're great lyrics. And I'm just like the timing of it. I'm like, what? No, he doesn't say that there. No. He oh, no, he does say that. There. Oh, I've got to add it. Ah, but, yeah, that's, that's just the name of the game with lyric videos. Lyrically, Zeitgeist is my favorite song of the album, lyrically. Um, it's my favorite lyrics that lyrics that I've ever written. Um, it's there's a lot of double and triple meanings with the lyrics within Zeitgeist. I like to write cryptically, especially with my lyrics. A lot of the lyrics are very cryptic. Um, so there's like double and triple meanings in some lines. It's really it's really fun, and I like to even hide it. Like even like there's a line called "Insta Quilinus Invenita," which is Latin, and it's actually Latin for a verse in the Bible which says, in filth it will be found. And also in Genesis, apparently God made humans out of dirt. And another word for dirt is like filth. So it's like in humanity it will be found. So it's like this, it's buried between, from like the surface level, it's Latin, sounds cool. But then it's buried under like a Bible, like a line that's in English, which is also a Bible verse, which is also another metaphor reference to humanity. So there's like actually like a quadruple, like, you know, level to just one line. So I like to write a lot like that. I write, like to make it cryptic, mystical. Um, you need to do a little bit of digging to actually get the true meaning behind some of the, the words and the lines within songs. And that's why I really like Zeitgeist. I spent a lot of time sitting there actually crafting the lines, making it sound poetic as well, just by itself. So I made the lyrics sound like really poetic before I even put them into the music. Uh, towards the future existence is out now guys so what's next for Ascarian? um well gigs we yeah. i and the band you know really um 
want to get out there and do some gigs. We've got two gigs lined up. Uh, we've got one in Ballarat on the 10th at Volta with Fall and Resist. And we have the 11th straight pretty much the day after in Sunbury Sound System Studios with Hybrid Nightmares. Uh, and then after that, um, we are looking to find a Melbourne gig to launch this album. We really are hoping to find um, a venue that will take us or a band that will take us as well to launch this thing. We really want to do that. And um, we are looking forward to doing that. So yeah, gigs, 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 basically. Yeah, gigs. And we're going to start writing album number three, hopefully around January, I think. Easy boys. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. We love it like that. Well, thanks very much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. As you can, Chinea, the album Towards the Futile Existence is out now. It's gigs on the 10th and 11th of November. So check out all the socials and keep up with what's going on. Mm -hmm.